Welcome back. Chieftains of the People's Democratic Party today stormed the Adamawa State Capital, Yola, as the party's presidential candidate, Atiku Bubakar, is made the seventh Waziri Adamawa of the Adamawa Emirates Council. Some of those in attendance include two former presidents, Ulushuk Mabasunjo and Kudlok Jonathan, Senate President Bukola Saraki and the former Vice President Namadi Sambo. The event, which had all the trappings of a political gathering, was also attended by traditional rulers, PDP members and other political or politicians from different parts of the country. The Minister of Youth and Sports, Solomon Dalong, has hailed the Super Falcon 6 0 trouncing of Equatorial Guinea in their last Group B match at the ongoing Women African Cup of Nations in Ghana. Dalong congratulated the Falcons for their emphatic win and enjoyed the players to reinforce their dominance of women's football on the continent. Mr. Dalong also assured the team of the fervent love, support, and prayers of President Mahmoud Buhari and the government and sport loving Nigerians and urged them not to disappoint them. The team this evening moved to Accra ahead of Tuesday's semi-final clash against the Lionesses of Cameroon. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang scored the winner as uh, Arsenal this evening claimed a first English Premier League win in four games with a hard 4-2-1 win over Bournemouth. The Gunners took the lead thanks to a spectacular own goal from Cherry's midfielder Jefferson Lemmer, who volleyed seed Kali snacks a cross past Asmir Begovic from 15 yards. Joshua King making his comeback after four games out with an ankle injury. Finished off a swift encounter, swift counter-attacking move to bring the host level seconds before halftime. But Abomeyang scored what proved to be the winner after the break when he converted Kali Sinatra's cross for the eighth Premier League goal of the season. Meanwhile, Huddersfield are out of the bottom three as Aaron Moy gave them a 2-0 win away to Wolves. Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton has ended the F Formula 1 2018 season with another dominant victory after streaking away from his rivals in the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix finale. Hamilton led from the lights to flag in the desert to take an 11th win of the year, holding off an early challenge from Mercedes teammate Valtteri Bottas before finishing four seconds ahead of Ferrari Sebastian Vettel. Max Verstappen finished in third in the thrilling race. Come back strong, so I've got to make sure I try and come back with it. But I'm really grateful for the, for the good times. Uh, congrats, and as you said, I will try. We will try. I think our whole team will try to come back stronger to make sure we give him a, a harder run into next year. Marin Cilic has clinched Croatia's second Davis Cup title as he beat Francis Luca Pui 7 6 6 3 6 3 to give his side a decisive 3 1 lead in the final. At least that Pierre Moroy earlier today. The powerful world number seven was relentless as he snuffed out any hope of a famous French fight back, giving Bui little chance of sending the final into a fifth rubber. Croatia's win will enter the history books as the last final play before the 118 year old team competition gets a revamp. Next November, a new format will see 18 teams assemble in Madrid for a World Cup style event to decide the champions.
British Prime Minister Theresa May has turned her attention to the British people after receiving approval of her Brexit deal with the European Union. The 27 leaders gave their blessing in less than an hour of discussions at the European Council today. They said the deal paved the way for an orderly withdrawal. Parliament is expected to vote on the deal. And Mrs May hopes votes will go in her favour. The Ukrainian Navy says Russia has opened fire and seized three of its vessels off the coast of Crimea. Authorities say two gunboats and a tug were captured by Russian special forces after a chase, leaving two Ukrainian crew members injured. It earlier accused Ukraine of illegally entering Russian waters, blocking access to the Sea of Azov with a tanker put under a bridge in the Kerch Strait. Tensions have risen recently in the seas off the Crimean Peninsula, which was annexed by Russia back in 2014. The Russian government is yet to comment on the incident. A Ugandan police say 29 people are likely to have died after a boat they were traveling in capsized on Lake Victoria. A media has named a number of well-known people said to have been on the boat and that the prince of a traditional kingdom had survived. The boat was set to being overloaded and was sailing in bad weather, both conditions which may have caused it to capsize. In the meantime, more than 20 people have been rescued from the water, but an unknown number remain missing. And the main news again, a former head of state, General Yakubu Gawan, and other prominent leaders today called for special prayers by Nigerians as the country goes into the 2019 elections. Also today, the presidential candidate of the Allied Congress Party of Nigeria, Dr. Obi Ezekwesili, called for a reassessment of the country's counterterrorism war. We also brought you the report on the parade of 33 suspected members of the indigenous people of Biafra over the killing of a police inspector during a protest in Nui. And EU leaders have approved of a Brexit deal after 20 months of negotiations bringing divorce talks between the UK and the European Union to a crucial milestone. That's News at 10 tonight. Thank you for watching. I am Amarachi Ubani. Good night.